Mm, hello. This video is what I think about Cryon. I've been watching Cryon the last couple of days. I downloaded it off of somebody's YouTube channel where Lee Carroll, the guy who channels Cryon, talks for a couple hours. And um, I really like Cryon. Cryon of Magnetic Circle or Magnetic Surface or something. Um, I think he's different from um, Bashar and Jane Roberts and um, some other channels I've heard and Pladians because he uh, he doesn't really say specific things, tell specific stories, answer specific questions. He kind of just goes up there and babbles, singing basically a song of Oh, it's so beautiful that we have arrived at ascension, but um, can't you hear the angels singing? <laughs> but um, um, he did say some very interesting things. He said the same thing that Bashar did. Bashar's talking about how um, when you change yourself, if you decide to suddenly become a uh, not a drug addict anymore, then you were never a drug addict. And Cryon was uh, describing that. I'll go back and I'll listen to it again and think if I ever have another revelation, um, I will know. In a, or if I understand something that Cryon says that I didn't include in this video, I'll know it and then I'll make sure to upload another video. But um, he said that when you change an attitude of yourself, um, about yourself, then you have changed the past also. So he was saying that you can change the past. Like, so he likened it to a horse track. You're going around a track, and here in third dimension, if you change yourself, then you only change yourself from the, this point forward. But everything from before when you change yourself didn't change. But if you're like in a higher dimension and you change yourself, automatically the whole track has changed, and, you, and, and the past has changed. So... Um, how could you change your past in the third dimension? For example, how could you... Oh, and he also said that... Um, well, actually, that's another thing. Yeah, so, like, change your past. Like, stop yourself from getting cancer in the past. Um, maybe you... And, like, say you're right about to die in this life because you got cancer. How would you make it so that you never got cancer? <laughs> Um, maybe you atone for yourself and the cancer. Maybe you, 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 you forgive yourself for getting cancer. You stop worrying about getting cancer. You accept getting cancer and dying um, so that you never, you don't feel the, uh, the cancer having a negative effect on you um, so that you don't have to get cancer again and the next time through in this exact life. Um, Bring, now, this is bringing into account the idea of parallel universes on an inf infinite amount of parallel universes in this timeline, an infinite amount of parallel universes on an infinite number of different timelines. So you'd have a parallel universe with that's five seconds behind you that are always communicating with each other. So you would communicate with the parallel universe where you're living and it's at a, and you're a younger age and you haven't gotten cancer yet and since you forgive yourself in this life and you decided that you didn't need the cancer in this life it made it so that you didn't need to have it in the next life <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but um, so then that's how changing that's that's how you change the past so, um, and maybe you can do that with family members too. Like, if you don't want one of your parents to die of cancer, then you can change the past by, um, um, accepting the life that you have now, that you're living now, and accepting its, its worth and value, and, um, realizing that in another world, they didn't die of cancer and that other world um, can feel it and you uh, 
so you actually bring that other parallel universe more into reality <laughs> and uh, so maybe that's how you how you uh, change the past that's as good as I can do about that if anybody has any idea of what I'm talking about maybe they can improve on that concept but uh, another interesting thing that Kryon said is that um, he brought up the concept of um, non-locality um, where and I guess um, that's actually warrants its own video but non-locality is uh, actually something that scientists have uh, have um, proven with, the, uh, with uh, tests where if you get if you take a cell out of somebody's arm body out of their blood put it in a petri dish or whatever keep it alive with the DNA in there and then you take another one out with that same person and take it to another part of the country 3,000 miles away and then you tell the person to think happy thoughts then at that exact moment their DNA will unravel and open up able to receive more um, more light and if you tell them to fear anger and fear at that very moment their cell 3,000 miles away will uh, shrivel up and uh, supposedly that's an actual experiment you can do and um, I would love to try and see if we try and do that experiment myself one of these days when I have the time I'm gonna purchase all of the equipment to do all these kinds of experiments but um, but Kryon was saying that you can uh, that that DNA and cells um, are not only oh, don't only communicate non non locally like that instantaneously non locally uh, um, within the same person, but within the same family members. So like a mother, if a mother feels you know happiness, then the DNA of her child will open up, kind of like that at that very moment. So you can you can and and the exact um, uh, example that Cryon said was that you can make your child um, you can prevent your child from getting cancer from your own thoughts, and it makes sense by by if you live with your child and if you're happy then you would make your child happier and then they wouldn't create the cancer within yourself but I think he was even saying that you can cure miraculously cure your child of cancer by curing yourself and then because you're connected non-locally you could actually cause miracles in somebody else so I guess that kind of brings in prayer like mass prayer like Richard Hoagland said when everybody prayed for him when he had his heart attack in 99 he, he felt the uh, he felt all of that love so um, anyways um, so maybe that's how, how non-locality and um, instantaneously changing the past how Kryon was saying it can be manifested in this world as you um, really mind over matter you think you can believe um, st start from the beliefs and then um, and then is manifested instantaneously in the body so uh, yeah that's pretty much all I remember from crying though it pretty much just sings the song of how uh, how it's pretty much clear and sure and 100% that humanity is going to ascend to the next level of, um, of uh, development and spirituality and everything and uh, yeah it's uh, it's very uplifting to listen to and kind of thing you can listen to over and over again that you probably should listen to over and over again so there you go